Hey everyone, it's Danielle with Knack here. I wanted to share a quick Knack tip of how to show multiple fields in your connection dropdown. So when you're using your app, when you're using connections, those connections will, will appear as dropdowns. So for example, if I want to add this invoice and I want to make sure it's connected to a customer, I have a customer field right here. This is my connection field. And this is displayed as a dropdown. So the records we're viewing here, those are actually connected records that I'm selecting. But you can see there's only one value, and right now this connected record is displaying the name value. So let's take a look at the builder and see what that looks like. So over here we have our customer's user role, we have our invoices object, and if we look at the fields, you can see that the invoices object is connected to customers with this connection dropdown. And if we look at those records, you can also see that the customer field is displaying with a similar dropdown where you can select those connected records. Now, in some cases, uh, you might want to add more information to display in this uh, connection dropdown. You want to know a little bit more information about that connected record. Um, a good example of when uh, something like this is important to add in is if you have fields that are not unique. So for example, we have two Sarah Jones right here, but if I'm adding an invoice, how do I know I'm adding it for the right Sarah Jones? How do I know I'm choosing the right record? So what we can do here is add more than one field from that connected object to display in your connection dropdown. So let's take a look at our customer's object here. First, the important thing to understand is that when you're, when you're looking at a connection dropdown for a connection field, the field that is displayed is the one that is set as the display field for that object. So I'm going to edit this user roles object. And you can see that the display field is set to show the name. So I can actually change it to any of these. Um, but right now, the default is just that whatever that first field is, is the default. So in this case, if I wanted to change it to phone number, I could. Um, I could change it to just ID if I could. But we want to add more than one of these values. So the way we're going to do this is use a text formula field to combine the values of two, two or more fields that we can then use for that display field. So let's start by adding a text formula field here. I'm going to add a new field. I'm going to find the text formula. And then let's just call this... Um, customer name ID. Let's just call it that. Um, the text formula field has other functions you can use if you want to um, maybe pull just a, um, a specific, you know, city or state out of a address, things like that. You can trim different values. We're not going to use a function for this particular example. We're just going to use fields, but just so you know, you can do more than what I'm showing uh, for text formula fields here. And I will link an article to text formula fields along with this video as well. Okay, so we want to show our name field, and then maybe let's just add a hyphen, and let's also add our ID field. So let's go ahead and add that field. All right, so now you can see we have our customer name and ID field that we'll be able to use here. Now that we have that, let's see what we have here. All right, so that's processing. I'm gonna. Go All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and update these fields real quick, just so that field goes ahead, goes ahead and updates now for this example. Okay, so now we have this field. You can see that we have the name, the hyphen we added, and their ID field. So now that we have this field added, we can go back into our settings for our customer's object, and we can change the display field to our new customer name ID field. Let's save those changes. All right, and that's it. So let's check out how this looks when we're adding invoices. So first, oh, it's already here. So when we're adding uh, uh, connected customers to our invoices, you can see I can now see both of those values. And we'll have the same thing over here. Let me refresh. All right, yep, so now we have the same thing over here. So now I can clearly see that uh, there are two Sarah Jones, each with different IDs. So if I wanted to search for a specific ID, oh, one, two, nine, six, two, it brings that one up. So if your uh, your employees or maybe yourself is searching for a particular customer and you have their ID handy, that's a quick way to just bring up the exact customer. Um, this is a great way to know you're adding um, a specific record and you're not mixing up records. So uh, 
Hope that helps. And until next time, happy building.